Welcome everybody to the first episode of uh, Getting Skunked with Anthony. This is my fishing partner here, Sal, sister-in-law extraordinaire. And today we're at Lake Casitas, and let's uh, let's see what we can do. So we're hiking to our first spot. It's a spot I haven't been to yet, but a buddy of mine uh, told me that this might be a good spot to catch some fish. Uh, so that's what we're gonna try to do. All right, so First rookie mistake, I forgot my polarized sunglasses. And uh, that shit's brutal when you're trying to stare out into the water with all that glare. So yeah, don't forget your fucking glasses. See, if I can't see it because of the glare, there's a fish right there. Nice and shallow. Actually, there's two of them. One's a little smaller though. you do it that is how you do it right there ladies and gents hell yeah baby first cast first fish I guess we're not getting skunk today baby we're going at uh three and three quarters there you go three and three quarters how we do it Sal there we go All right, time for you to go back home. First cast, first fish. Take care, little buddy. Using today is the uh, purple robo worm, drop shot rig. Learned that from an old Lake Casitas guy. Using my Guggen Green Series finesse rod. My Lose Mach 2 spinning reel. Let's see if we can get another fish. checking it out oh he fucking hit and I missed him I missed him let's go ahead and we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it and we're gonna get it right back out there he hit it though he hit it little dink didn't like this Little Dink was mad, but we might be able to just catch him when we're retrieving. So, I'm not going to focus on the little guy. That's, that's most likely a male who's uh, trying to track the female. And I think I already snagged the female. She's 3.74. He doesn't look that big. He looks maybe, maybe about 2 pounds. So, let's see if we can get another mama. Mamas are normally a little bit deeper. It's just nice. Slow and steady retrieve. Very slow. Um, somebody taught me that you don't need to jerk and bounce it and everything. That's uh, it's not really needed. The water here at Lake Casitas is so clear that the fish can see it. And all that jerking and bouncing and stuff, that's for when it's like a muddier water or whatever so they can actually take notice to it. But the fish can see this. Got 
snagged. And there goes that. Probably not gonna make it out of this one, guys. Yeah, I probably snagged up on the rock. Which is gonna mean it's time for a, a retie. There it goes. Do I have any weight on it? Oh, I think I do. All right, all right cool. Might have lost the weight. Let's go ahead and retrieve it in, see what we got here. Yep. Lost the drop shot weight. Still got the worm though. Which means it's time for a break. So thankfully, I checked my old fishing backpack and I did not forget my shades. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're on. So the purple robo worm obviously works. And I'm assuming that this is Guggen's response to that with the drag and drop. It's got about the same color and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. So instead of taking the time to retie a knot, put weight on there, switch into the old uh, bait caster. Hopefully we got enough weight on it to get it out there. that I don't uh, bird nest this, but here we go. Let's go ahead and try to cast over there then. Hopefully you guys saw that blow up. Hopefully. Hopefully they see this. Right there. Right, right on the other side of that wall. Swallowed that ruin. He swallowed it. He swallowed it good. <clears throat> nice little male. Huh? Hell yeah, baby. Second fish on the day. Nice little male. Got him right off that rock. Let's go. So I was working him, and he was like right over a rock like this one, just right over the edge, and I saw him pop out a couple times. And so I flipped it, I flipped it over, and just slowly brought it. He checked it out one time, 
flipped it again. He fucking came, he hit it, fucking bam!